Hi guys, this is Zenus from Lens Advisor, and today I'm going to take you through how to create lens variants. We have an option in our pro plan called Lens Options, and this is done by creating a lens with variants underneath of it. Let me show you how to create it in Lens Advisor. First, let's go into our lens collections, and I already have a collection called Collection with Options. And I'm going to open this up and you can see that in my single vision clear lenses, I currently have two lenses. Let's create a new lens and we're going to call this a new lens with options. And I am going to click this add edit button that appears once you have activated your pro plan. And once this is here, I can add multiple options on the lens. In this case, I want to put an index with a 1.5 and a 1.6. And for every option that you put in, you can either press enter or comma in order to put in new values. So now I have three values for my index option, and I'm going to add another option called coding. And some of these values could be something like anti-reflective or blue light blocking. Once I'm done, I'm going to save the collection. And you'll notice that if you open up lenses now, you'll see that it is syncing variants. We need to wait until this is done for us to be able to view these variants. So I'm going to refresh this lens collection in, and we'll wait to see until the syncing variants has disappeared. Great, so now I can see that the lens has saved and all of the variants have saved along with it. Let's see what this looks like on the front end. If we scroll down, we can see that this 001 frame is assigned to this collection and I have it loaded up here. Let's refresh the page and go through the checkout process for single vision. So if I come through single vision, email later, I will now see this new lens with options and I can see this text changes from being a direct price to having a from in front of it. And if I click this, I will have the options that I just put in for index and for coding, and I am able to choose what I want as a customer. Now, as a store, you may want to more granularly control how these options appear. Specifically, you may want to change pricing for each of these variants. So let's go in and see how that works. Inside of your lens collection, you'll see that there's a Shopify ID for each lens that was created. We do offer a limited view of what you can do with your variants inside of Lens Advisor, but we recommend that you go directly into Shopify to edit your product, your lens product, so that you can change the variants. So what I'm going to do is copy the Shopify ID, and I'm going to come over here to the products area, and I'm going to search for this ID we can see that only the one product comes back because this is a unique identifier, and I can dive in here and edit this lens. If I scroll down, uh, I'll see that I have all of these options available to me, and I can change pricing. If I think that the 1.6 lenses should be $10 more, for instance, I'm going to change this to a $40 price, and the 1.7s should be even more expensive at $50. Now for the coding, I'm going to assume that that is not chargeable and won't be cost any more money. And so I'm just going to save this product right now. And you'll see that if I refresh the product page and go through the checkout process again, that now I can see that the 1.6 index is $10 more expensive, and then the 1.7 is $10 further expensive than that. Now, one other thing to note when you're modifying these lens products and the variants is that you can also change the orders of things. For instance, you can come in to here, reorder the variants, and in this case, I would like coating to appear first, and my blue light blocking coating to also be in front of that. I also want my 1.6 index to be selected by default, so I'm going to put these two as my first options. 
if I click Save here, and then go over and refresh the product, go through the checkout process like we just did before, you'll now see that blue light blocking and 1.6 index are the default selected options and the order has been reversed. This is really important for you to be able to modify your variants and options in such a way to display what you want to the customer. There's one other important aspect to all of this, which is that once a lens product has been created in Shopify, we're not able to modify it from the Lens Advisor side. So you'll get this text that says not available under variants. And what that means is we're not able to display it here in, in Lens Advisor itself, but you're still able to add variants if you want. If you come here and see the single vision clear with no options lens, and that would take you directly to the review your order screen, but we can change this. So if I take this ID and come over to the products area and search for this product ID, I'm now able to edit this product directly. And the way that I would enable variants to happen on this is that I would come down here and I would click the variants box to allow variants to be assigned to this product. From this point on, you can use the Shopify admin to modify this lens product any way that you want. So you're able to add in the multiple variants here and in the same way that you had done in the Lens Advisor admin before, you can create new variants for this product. I hope that that was useful in understanding how to create variants for lens products. This allows you to create custom checkout flow with lens options for your customers. Let us know if you have any questions. We're always available. Thanks.